Y'all know I love it when I walk up to these restores and I see these items outside. You know, they're deeply discounted. Look at this. You could get this armchair for $4. Look at this chest. They've got it marked down from $175 to $25. And I know she needs a little bit of work, but you know what? A little bit of imagination, some paint, that's going to be good as new. And y'all know how much I love these buggy loads of pillows. So let's see, a dollar. And I love when they have pairs of them. I actually think they had three of those. A dollar for this blue one. Oh, and these fancy ones, a dollar. So you know if the prices are this good outside, I can't wait to get inside and see what we can find. Oh yeah, and I turned around and look at that. They had this glass top coffee table marked down to $10. And this chair and ottoman was already sold. And this restores hours are Monday through Saturday, 10 to 4. And I'll list their address in the description box below. Oh, I can't wait. Here we go. And here's a shot around the store. And y'all know we're going to get into all the areas. Here's a large dining room table. It comes with six chairs and two leaves for $300. Love that carving on the back. And here's the matching server for $185. And you know we gotta take a look inside. And y'all know this particular restore does a silent auction, so we're going to go through and see what they've got. Lot number eight is an NFL collection, and they said that they have two footballs in there that are official NFL balls, and they've got two NFL kickstands. And number seven is a vintage tool set, and they've got some two-person cross-cut saws. And look at that, they've got an old doorknob with the lock and the bracket. And number six is a coin collection, and they've got tons of different varieties in here. They've got the 50 states commemorative quarters. They've got two U.S. Mint proof sets. I think that'd be fun to have. They've got some assorted foreign and domestic bills and coins. I don't know a lot about coin collecting. Y'all have to let me know if that's, you know, something that maybe I need to get into. And there's those two U.S. Mint proof sets. Oh, I see some Canadian bills back there. That kind of looks like my coin jar. <laughs> Just a few coins at the bottom. And number five is a high fashion collection. They've got two gold bracelets and they've got two gold bands. And that's a large Dooney and Burke leather handbag in the back. And number four is an Avon and mid-century modern collection. So they've got some cologne bottles in there. I like that cubist cat in the back. And I liked collection number three. So they've got it listed as a wooden collection. And I like that large hand-turned oval bowl. It's got the four feet on it with the smaller bowls to match. And number two is a Buffalo Bills collection. So all kinds of stuff there if you've got somebody that collects that. And number one is a kitchen collection, and they've got a 1900s Western stoneware two-gallon crock in the back. Oh, and I love that hand-painted pottery dish. That's so pretty. I have no idea the age of that. Look at that old crock. I want to see a sifter and a grater, and I think there's some cookie cutters in there and an old whisk. That might be a fun collection to have. 
And number nine is a vintage portable RCA radiola. I'd never seen one like that. Y'all have to let me know, have you ever listened to one of those? Have you ever even seen one of those? And number 10 is such a throwback. So it's a General Electric standing radio console. You know, I think of the Andy Griffith show when I see these, just the good old days. And I got to tell you, I found a fabulous throwback coming up. So I can't wait to show you that. And here's a fabulous table. It comes with six chairs. It's $285. And I really think Blonde Wood's making a comeback. I think those chairs are everything. I just love the curve on them. And they've got the matching hutch for $300. And I gotta tell you, later in the video, I actually found another piece that matches the set. Oh, and y'all know how I love leather and nail head trim. So these large club chairs were $85 each. And this is a sofa table for $125. And I really love that metal grate in the bottom. So you know we gotta get down there and take a look. It actually has glass over the top of it. And I really like these drawer pulls. And this is a piece of Bernhardt furniture and if you've been following my videos, you know that's higher end furniture. And here's a smaller glass top table. They've got it marked down to $75. And I love how they paired it with those two chairs. And we saw those chairs last week. I think you get both chairs for $40. Here's a signed original watercolor print, $35. I think those hummingbirds are so pretty. Have y'all ever tried to paint with watercolors? I don't think it's very easy, but I love the look of it. And this was probably my favorite find here the day I went. So you know I love just the fancy carving, the lattice work on the back. It's a storage bench that someone's created, I guess out of a bed and a dresser. Love that idea. They've got this here for $200. Just a very unique piece. You know, I think if you put a cushion on it, it would be perfect in a mudroom or an entryway. And I just love it when I find their markdowns like this. So 50% off their dining room tables. You got this one for $100. I really like that color blue. I think again, that kind of gives you a farmhouse vibe, maybe a modern take on a farmhouse vibe. And you know, I love the pillows at the ReStore, but this I thought was so funny. So for your friend who has everything, if their initials are JCB, <laughs> you could get them these two pillows for $4 each. And this bed was already sold, but you know, we had to take a look. I love that wrought iron, the swirly metal. And you know, all the more reason we gotta shop our restores several days a week so we don't miss out on these items. Oh, and these vases caught my eye. 
by Waverly, a dollar each. And I gotta tell y'all, I ran across another sweet little four-legged friend at the ReStore. Hey, my love. <laughs> Look at that sweet little haircut. <laughs> I hope y'all have a good day. And I thought this was so funny. So it's a bell on your beer mug. I guess you ring when you want more beer. <laughs> and this saying just seems so Southern. You're so cute. I could bottle you up in a mason jar. <laughs> Love that. And here's a large Paula Deen baking dish for $14. They had some plastic wrap on this, I guess, so you wouldn't lose the lid. It's $3 for this trinket box. Oh, I like the angel on top. And y'all know I love the mugs at the ReStores. This large mug's only 50 cents. And here's one of those no spill travel mugs for $2. And y'all know we're just going to take a quick trip through the cookbook. 75 cents for a softback, $1.25 for a hardback. 375 meatless recipes. You know, I could probably do that. Better Homes and Gardens New Dieters Cookbook. Oh, that looks like a good cookbook. Cookbook Organizer. Oh, I should have opened that. <laughs> I definitely need to organize my cookbooks. Um, Simply Julia. Easy recipes for healthy comfort food. I like comfort food. The quintessential quinoa cookbook. Uh, blood sugar solution cookbook. That might be good to have. Oh, Southern Living. They always do the best cookbooks for their annual recipes. Oh, and what does this one say? Flavors of the Gulf Coast. Oh, yes, that would be good for sure. I love seafood, especially shrimp. And Martha Stewart's Quick Cook. That looks like a throwback. Oh, and the Keto Diet. That might be fun to check out, too. So definitely check your ReStore for books and cookbooks. I'm always finding the best selections here. And here's a large liquid dispenser for $7. I think that'd be perfect for your sweet tea or your lemonade in the summer. And here's a metal basket for $4.50. And now we're going back into the antiques and unique section. Y'all know I love this part of the store, so I can't wait to see what we're gonna find. And we had seen this little vanity in the past, and I know she needs some work. They've got it here for $50, but I really wanted to show you this clip more for how they style this book on top. I think it's Victorian. It could be shabby chic. I just love that idea. And here's a vintage hand-forged metal bowl with a stamp detail made in Iran. They've got it here for $7. These plates are great finds. These are pieces of Blue Ridge pottery. These plates are $2 each, and I live in the South. These are actually highly collectible. And the story goes that they would hire women back in the day to come in and paint these plates, and your job might be all day long just to paint the grapes, and someone else's job just to paint the leaves. So I thought that was really interesting. And they've got this listed as a vintage krill basket. It's $15, it's very delicate. I think that'd be perfect if you're doing an old basket display. And same here, this is a handmade basket for $14. Have y'all ever tried to make baskets? I think that might be fun. And they've got this marked down. Oh my goodness, $50 for this large hutch. And I know some of the paint's wearing off, but I gotta tell y'all for $50, again, wouldn't that be a great DIY project? Take that, repaint it to something else, maybe use those touch-up markers, some furniture polish, furniture wax. I love that design in it. And I guess you can see to the left bottom of the screen, they've got some matching pieces. You know, look at the bones of that piece. We can fix all the other frou-frou stuff on it. 
So for $50, you get this dining table with the chairs to match it. And again, you know, I guess the finish, I'm not sure what happened there, but the finish wore off in certain areas. But look at the detail of that piece. That would be so beautiful, repainted or refinished. You're gonna have $100 in your table and six chairs and your hutch. That is a fantastic deal. Probably one of the best deals here at the ReStore the day I went. This is an unbelievable find. They've got it here for $1.25. This is an old piece. It's ironstone made by Mir and Son. And I looked them up online. This piece is probably from the late 1800s to early 1900s. So fantastic find on that. And definitely take your kids or your grandkids with you to the ReStore. This is a vintage Hello Kitty divided plate. They've got it here for $5. You know somebody would love, love, love that. And talking about throwbacks, someone had handmade these baby doll clothes. I just wanted to show you the detail in that. You know, that would probably be a great gift for a newborn baby. It just looks like someone took a lot of time making those sweet little booties and the sweater and the cap to match. And talk about a great throwback. Who remembers the little golden books? I can remember as a kid, my mom, she's so funny. She would always take on the different characters' voices when she'd read to us. It was just one of my favorite things as a kid to have my mom read to me. And I think all these little golden books were 69 cents each back in the day. Crazy that they're collectibles now. This one's from 1955. It's an old Tom and Jerry book. And I just wanted to show you this one too. This book I think was $2 as well. This will be so much fun, I think, to buy for your kids or your grandkids and read to them. You know, this is stuff that maybe you had when you were a kid. This book, let me see. This book was circa, I guess the 1950s, 1960s. And I just think they had the best illustrations back in the day. Wouldn't that be special to buy that just for, you know, one of your younger family members? That looks in fantastic condition. And here's an Art Deco Lusterware vase for $3.50. And I hope you can just see that iridescent look to it. Looks like someone had it for $7.50. <laughs> but you could get it here for $3.50. Okay, I think y'all are gonna love this. This is an old yearbook from 1958, so you know we gotta look inside. I just stood back here forever looking at these pictures. Look how fancy everybody dressed. It was snowy and she still had on her fancy shoes and her dress. And look at those bobby socks, who out there wore those. And the dresses, look at their formal dresses. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They really knew how to dress. Everyone looked like Hollywood movie stars to me back in the day. Oh, and look at her pleated skirt. Did y'all dress like that for school? And everybody's hair was just so perfect. The guys had the rabbit ridges or the flat tops and the school dance. That just looks like it was so much fun. And I gotta tell y'all, they've got some homecoming queens and Mayday queens coming up. And look at the old cars at the school, everybody sitting on the lawn. Oh, those were the good old days. And we've talked about it when they bring the film projector out. Wasn't that a fun day at school? <laughs> and this is their swim club. So look at those swimsuits and their majorettes. Were y'all a majorette in school? I wanted to be one, I had a baton. And look how fancy, I think this was the Marshalls for graduation. And here's the homecoming court. Everybody just looks so dreamy. And I want y'all to remember this girl, Carolyn Wall. She must have been the most popular girl in school because she was the homecoming queen. 
Love those hairdos. Oh, and there's the parade, homecoming parade. And look at this, May Day Court, Carolyn Wall was the May Day Queen too. <laughs> What's up with that? There must have been some home cooking going on. <laughs> I don't think that's fair. Although she was beautiful. Look at that dress. And you know we had to take a look. Do y'all remember people writing in your book? You'd reserve the page. And someone said, I couldn't have asked for a better friend. You could never realize how much I enjoyed dating you. So this guy, Bill, must have been a real player. So that was Love Always Flow. And then I looked in the front of the book... And he had another girlfriend here, Waina Wankoft, loved him too. <laughs> and it says, be real good this summer and I'll see you next year. Remember people writing that in your yearbook? Everybody seemed to always write that. So I hope y'all had fun looking at that with me. It was just certainly a throwback for me. So we're back looking at everything else. So here's a set of two Iron Mountain cereal bowls for $12. Oh, those are pretty. Oh, and they've got the mugs to match. Six dollars. Here's a set of six vintage crystal glasses for sixteen dollars. Oh, those are fancy. They've got little ridges. I hope you can see that around the bottom. Y'all know. <laughs> if you've been following me, you know I'm going to get there. And I like this picture. One for the frame. It's only $7. But look at the subject. So it looks like he's climbed up. He's picking some grapes. And the girls are trying to catch it. The dog's all excited. That'd be a fun day. <laughs> And this is a great font, so it's a large brass sculpture with a marble base for $25. Or they've got the very same thing at Neiman Marcus for $80. And I saw where there's a piece worth $68,000. Of course, this isn't it. And I never want to know if I walk by something that's worth $68,000 and I didn't get it. Please don't ever tell me. No, 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 no. Never tell me. And this is one of their items waiting to be priced. They kind of entice you to come back the next day to see what the price is. But I really like this little small armless chair. And I thought this was a great find, very unique. They've got this chair here for $12. And I looked at a ball online. One similar is over $1,300. So I'm telling you, you never know what you're going to find at these restores. Here's a large wooden coffee table for $48, and I love the pattern in the wood. And again, maybe a little furniture polish or uh, furniture wax. Those scuffs are going to go away. And you know I love it when I find pairs of items. So here's a pair of white spindle twin beds, $20 each. And sometimes I run across jewelry at these restores, so they've got this bracelet for $3. Oh, that's pretty. And I thought this was a great font, so $3. It's a Chico's watch bracelet. You know we pay way more than that at Chico's. And here's that buffet I was talking about to match that blonde furniture. They've got it here for $285. So I hope y'all had fun going with me today. Please just give me a thumbs up, subscribe, spread the word so our channel can keep growing. And I wanted to end with sweet Milo's picture again. It just makes me so happy when I run across our sweet little fur babies at the restores. I appreciate y'all so much and I hope y'all have a day just as good as Milo did riding that buggy. I don't think that dog could have been any happier. So I hope y'all have that kind of day. Thank y'all so much for coming with me and until next time, come go with me today. Bye.